Hi and welcome to the channel, my name's Pete. This series we are trying to fix my Facebook ripoff. This Suzuki Bandit here that's right behind me and fueling system. So in the last few episodes we've taken out the carbs, cleaned them, cleaned the petrol tank and then we tried the throttle. It snagged, it didn't work, we cut there. Now this is my method to get to and from work and I need to get this bike fixed and I need to do it cheaply because I can't afford to go out and buy a new bike. And I certainly can't afford to insure one because I've had a car stolen, a bike stolen and I live in an LS postcode. So this is quite literally all I can afford to run and insure until that goes down. Now this episode I'm hoping to get this throttle on so it's not snagging with the help of this that there and a cup of coffee I've got up there I'm gonna have a look I'm gonna see if we can fix this throttle and return and uh, get tank on and up if hopefully it'll run so our recap the throttle body is here pull and return choke and that's really all I need to get sorted on here today uh, I've got to connect up the airbox, but that's going to be in the way of these for now. Breather pipes connected up. Airbox just to uh, finish off, tightening up, put on. Get the tank on, which is down there, which I've had cleaned out. If you remember all the shit that came out of it, I still need to tidy that up. First of all, coffee. Quick look in here and see what's going on in there. So looking at this, some of you would have known straight away what I was doing wrong. Now if we check this one out here, you can see I've got two nuts at the top. That's two separate nuts and then you've got this here. That's your lock nut. And that, that one goes a different direction. I've put them on wrong. This side I've recorrected. This nut goes on the top and the second nut goes underneath. You probably can't see that through there to be quite honest with you. Uh, no. Then that one now needs to come off and I need to swap that over so that that nut goes underneath and then we'll try the throttle and see if it see if it throttles back and snaps back on its own so they look pretty much how it was when I took it apart now choke is in there nice and snug and these are secure this is how they were oh god now I have to hopefully that'll that'll throttle and snap back no it goes that way now it feels like it's catching can you hear that it is catching on something down there but it's not pulling back. So I'm gonna to have to do a bit more reading and some adjusting. So it's definitely getting caught down there on something. I don't know where it's getting caught on. It's not the Jubilee clips or the bolts. I, 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 I've felt those. I think I'm gonna to have to take the carbs out again and have a look. Um, see what's not moving freely see what's catching where it didn't have this problem when i took it apart right i hope you can hear that and it's catching now if you remember me putting this fuel hose back on i did it in the wrong order and it's got a jubilee clip on and the jubilee clip has bent round and it is catching on the throttle return. Now it's not returning on its own anyway, but it's also catching regardless. I need to undo that and possibly even take the carb out to put it back on properly. We'll see what happens. So I have moved that Jubilee clip and we've lost the noise. It, it throttles back, but it won't return. 
and I don't know why I never messed about with any springs or anything like that all I know is it's something to do with these cables so I'm gonna have to do a bit of research stuck I've asked in some Facebook groups um, people are saying take the bar end off I'll turn the camera around take the bar end off so I've loosened that up and I've taken that off and it's returning wonderfully without those cables on so now people are saying take the cables off and loop down them so that's what I'm going to try and do but now that that's running so freely I need to uh, just try that again I don't want to take all this apart and all this apart again now I've worked a lot on push bikes and derailers and things like that and I've learned that you don't necessarily have to take the cables off to get them lubed so I've been able to so I have been able to get squirt down there into the hole and then along into there as well that hole here I've been doing that for 10-15 minutes and I have seen bits bubbling up down here now so I know that that loop has gone right through but I also think the guy that's put all this together he just didn't know what he was doing um, so I think there's a very limited space there for that but anyway let's get it back together and see if I've solved the issue it seems to have had while it's loose so I've just continued working it through both sides it's going in there lovely it's nice and free now so what I've done then is I've lubed up all the moving parts down here this is soaking wet now because what I've done is I've constantly squirted through to the cables and worked it now it moves fast so you're not going to be able to watch it wind back but there we go snaps back on its own now this was also stopping it because that hand grip is going over that so if I do that throttle back won't snap back if I do that it snaps back so I need to trim this down a bit more this poor old bike is people not looking after it properly and doing things right now these are high performance machines whether you think a bandit is high performance machine or not you are on two wheels on a four cylinder engine and these can go fairly quick they're not the quickest of bikes but even if you're going at 40 and 50 miles an hour if something fails it can be catastrophic now if you're trying to stop at a junction and your throttle's not working correctly you're in danger so i've got to go through this bike bit at a time but first of all I've got to get it running and do you know what I, I really like it already even though it's failed on me and let me down it's not the bike's fault it's people not looking after it I, I kind of feel for it right let me just go around and tighten everything up get that air box back on because that'll take ages so that air box took a long time to get on you have to match these ducts up with some ones that are inside there and they're not just a case of butting up to each other they lay over each other and you've got to get that jubilee clip on but as you're pushing one end on it does that and that so you have to try and sort of wiggle them on slowly and then just get them fastened up i fasten the middle ones up first because they're the most difficult ones to get on and then these end ones seem to slip on a little bit easier so now i just need to connect this up to the air box Tuck these breather pipes out the way connect that up to the tank connect this up to the tank get the tank on get some petrol in after I've rinsed it because I've still got that petrol and oil still in there so I've got to drain out what that is 
put the pet cock on which is down here there and then we're ready to go all right so i've got that that metal plate off there that i had on here cut my finger in the process first injury while i'm doing this but you can see blobs of oil in there look i'm checking it out got to get a pet cock on get it on there so i've got the tank down here ready to go i've got the pet cock on i've refurbished this it did come with new bolts new washers so i've popped them on need to make sure that that's on the right run I've got to take this off and reposition that, but that's minor. So bike, what we've been doing so far is I've got side panels reattached, air box back in with air filter hoovered out. I've got some new nuts and bolts here, which come with rubbers. Somebody's bodged that with a bit of, well, bicycle inner tube, but I'll see how I go. Um, if it works, it works. I'm not gonna do it for the sake of it just yet. But in here, I've tightened everything up. I've double checked everything throttle still works so we're laughing at that uh, I've connected everything up I've taken all the paper stickers off so now I've just got my fuel and my vacuum now I know which is which and I know which is which I've taken all the paper stickers off because in there it gets hot we have petrol here and petrol going through there into engine and I didn't want any excuse for any fires to start Let's get that tank on and see, see how that goes. Now I like riding bikes and I needed one to get to and from work as well. And I was after something cheap so I got this Suzuki Bandit off Facebook Marketplace for £900, I know. I test drove it, everything seemed fine and I checked it over and everything seemed alright. But then it conked out. I looked in the fuel tank because I was told it might be a fueling system and the one place I didn't look at when I bought this bike was in the fuel tank. I just didn't know. I'm not a mechanic, I'm not an expert at these things. So what I've done is I've had to try and clean that out on my own because I can't afford to pay anyone to do it. I'm not a mechanic, I've got no skills and I've got no tools. So what I've done is I've taken the tank off, I've cleaned it out. I've taken the carburetors off, which help fuel go through to the system with a mixture of air and petrol. Now that has all been cleaned out and put back together. I've probably spent around £120 on parts and cleaning products for this bike. Now I've put it back together and I've probably spent about £150 on tools to do this because I've not had any. Now I have spotted one or two other problems along with this bike that we're going to go through at a later date, so stay tuned for that. But for now, we need to get some petrol in this bike. We need to get this bike started so that I can start using it. I'm super excited for this and I'm really looking forward to the Suzuki Bandit being back on the road. It really has grown on me this bike and I'm just in love with that colour blue. So fingers crossed, let's try and get this bike started. I'm, I'm nervous in case it doesn't start. Oh, is it going to start? I feel like I don't know how to start it. <laughs> um, let's have a quick pet cock. Yeah, it's where it should be. You just got to pump it. Just got to get it going. Dead. Is it that? Yeah, battery doesn't sound too good. Right, that's cut out. What does that mean? Now, I've, now I'm dead. Dead. I've got an electrical failure now. So, I can hear this tank whistling, yeah, it 
Is there a problem with the battery? Dodgy locks, these don't help. Nothing's coming on. At this point, I just didn't know what was wrong. I'm not a mechanic and I'm certainly not an electrician. I'm thinking, am I gonna now have to learn electrics on this bike? Well, the answer is yes, ultimately. But for now, I've got to try and diagnose the problem. I'm thinking I've got to go through the fuses, I've got to check the switch, and then I've got to try and start the bike. I've got to get a new battery because I did discover that the battery is not holding charge. So therefore, it could be simple as a new battery. But I don't know. I've not got the tools to check it, so I've got to go spend more money. In the meantime, please, if you're enjoying these videos, buy me a coffee, I need it. Take care, and I will see you in the next episode, where hopefully this bike will be on the road.